Hundreds getting into the holiday spirit downtown tonight at the annual Providence tree lighting outside City Hall. It's back in person after the pandemic caused the city to hold a virtual lighting last year. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts is live in Kennedy Plaza with how the night went. Amanda. Well, Kim Shannon, it was definitely a festive night downtown tonight, starting with that tree lighting earlier this evening. People were really feeling the holiday spirit here in Kennedy Plaza and happy to be celebrating in person yet again. With the flip of a switch, the holiday season has begun in Providence. This Christmas. The annual holiday tree lighting ceremony back in person this year started at City Hall with music and lights. The lights just make it happen. And the celebrations continued across the street where the Brown University marching band played on skates, kicking off an ice skating show that featured a familiar face. A thing like this where you have Christmas music and it's fun and people are just happy to be together again. You know, you get to hear all the cheering no matter what they're doing. It's great. It's a lot of fun. Two time U.S. Olympic figure skating medalist Nancy Kerrigan gracing the ice in Providence, hosting the all star event. When it's cold like this, it's really hard to feel loose enough to do all the tricks that the skaters are doing out there, but they're they're doing it anyway. There were ice skating fans, big and small. Some watch loved ones take the ice. Taking my granddaughter here for the first time, her um, her auntie skating in it. So yeah, so we're coming to see her. Others like Francine Jackson planned a staycation around the event. She and her husband took the Ripta into the capital city. We had to come here. We decided to spend a weekend in Providence just to get away <laughs> you know? and to spend time to see the Christmas Carol in Hamilton and watch the tree lighting over there. It's a great time to be here. She says they're grateful to not have COVID front of mind for a night. It's just so nice to actually walk around. I'd have to wear your mask to actually um, well, feel much freer and just to be able to enjoy the season. Now the holiday lights downtown will be lit every day at dusk and will stay on throughout the holiday season. Live in Providence, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.